Well, hello. Some more uh, thoughts, some more blatherings. Uh, I woke up this morning quite early and find my, my heart uh, full of themes to, to vlog about. And um, I hope as they come out in due course that um, they will help you. I found some very specific themes uh, laid in my heart today. Uh, I found the the theme of the story of our lives uh, being laid in my heart. I, I found thoughts about uh, the demonic and being free of demonic influence in our lives, even as believers, uh, being laid upon my heart as well. And I'll vlog about them in, in due course. But the other theme that seemed to be laid in my heart that I want to um, speak about now is just the fulfillment of uh, prophecy. Uh, in our lives. If I can um, just tell a wee bit of my own story. Uh, I felt back in the early 90s that God uh, told me he was going to take me to um, other countries um, uh, to, to speak, to share his word. Um, I can only say that he said that and uh, it wasn't that I desired that, it wasn't that I sought that, but I just felt very strongly um, that he was saying that was part of his purpose for my life. Uh, that was further confirmed in, I think it was 1995, uh, by a prophetic word from Paul Cain when he called me to my feet by my middle name. He'd never met me before and uh, prophesied about me uh, going to other countries. And that was a a remarkable and quite a fearful moment as the innermost thoughts of my heart and even the the language I would use to uh, describe these thoughts was uh, portrayed before my very eyes as it were through that um, prophetic ministry. Well moving on in time the years passed a bit maybe three years and there was no obvious sign of that prophetic word being fulfilled. And I was speaking to Rick Hayes, uh, who many of you in Scotland will know and thank God for. And I was speaking to Rick Hayes on the telephone and about this uh, mystery. I said, it's not really concerning me whether it may be I've got it wrong, but I think I got it right. And I think Paul Cain got it right. And yet it's not happening. Um, and he said something very simple. He, he said, have you ever told God that you're willing that... Um, he said, you need to lean into your calling and tell God that you're willing. And I thought, well, I've never done that. And I decided after the phone call with Rick, I would do that. So we stopped talking on the phone. I put the phone down and I simply said to God, Lord, I just want you to know that if this is your will for me to go to other places, and I don't mind if it's not your will, but if it really is, and I've heard correctly, I just want you to know that um, I'm willing and uh, I'm telling you this morning I'm, I'm sort of leaning into this calling I'm, I'm willing to go I, I put down the phone within the next two hours I had two invitations to go to two different countries I, I wonder if there's a prophetic as yet uh, an unfulfilled prophetic word that is part of your story. Uh, sometimes I think we're very reluctant to take any step towards the fulfilling of a prophetic word, and there's wisdom in that. There, there's wisdom that as a general rule, we don't um, self-fulfill a prophecy. And yet, all these rules that have emerged in the charismatic church for a good reason, perhaps. They do need to be tested scripturally. I find that Jesus took deliberate moves to fulfil prophecy. On the day that we call Palm Sunday, he, he found a colt, he found a, a donkey on which nobody had ever sat. And he actually, in quite a manifest way, sat upon it and rode into Jerusalem in order to fulfill an Old Testament prophecy. He, he wasn't against taking deliberate steps to fulfill the prophetic will and word of God. 
Of course, there needs to be caution in that. But I wonder if the step that I took is one that you could do with taking as well. Just to say to God, Lord, I, I just want you to know that I'm willing for this word to become actively true in my life. I'm willing for what was prophesied over me and seemed to confirm the actions of your spirit in my heart. I'm willing for that to come to be. And I lean into your calling this day. Have your will, have your way in my life. In my life, Lord, be glorified today.